Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. I see that uh, your screen may be blinking. I apologize for that. If this is happening, I'm not sure. Uh, sometime it happened, I don't know why, sometime it doesn't. Uh, as you see in front of us, we have a beautiful uh, uh, picture of horses. <clears throat> now, maybe you do not know that the one who created the horses is Allah. And you know, uh, Allah, he created things and he is the only creator. You know, the only thing like always I hear from Muslims when I say to them, uh, what is the proof that Allah is the creator? They say a verse in the Quran says that Allah is the creator. <laughs> so my friends and my brothers and sisters, peace of Christ to all of you. I hope today we'll have a good time together and it's going to be hilarious as usual. What is the proof that Allah is the creator? Allah, he said, okay, that he is, uh-huh, the creator. Uh-huh. So the proof that Allah is the creator, that Allah said that he is the creator. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, man, this is, don't you think this is too much intelligent? I mean, this is the proof that Allah is the creator. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> and you know, Allah, he created many things. You have a question for me? Okay, don't ask me the question. I will give you the answer because in the Middle East, we know the answer before even you give the question. <laughs> we are super smart, man. <laughs> Who need that question? Who need it? Now, <clears throat> oh, if we go in the Quran, should we go in the Quran or not yet? If there is any Muslim in the chat would like to say anything? Any Muhammadan? What is the proof that Allah is the creator? Additional to Allah saying as the creator. I mean, <laughs> I can say too, I'm the creator. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how in the world do you come with this answer? I mean, he is the creator because he said he is the creator. Don't you think this is like big and beautiful? What is the proof? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan in the bushes? Nobody? Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, ta -da -dum, nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, I know. What are you talking about? I can prove to you in two seconds that Allah is the creator. Let us go as long as we have a picture. Actually, I did not. I, I chose it because I like it. You know, I like horses. Uh, <clears throat> uh, if we go, a brother and sisters, <laughs> let us see what the Quran says about horses and animals. Allah said that he is the one who created the following creatures. And by the way, this is a proven to be true. Mm -hmm. This is a proven to be true. Let us uh, move this page a little bit so you guys can read. I'm not sure why it's coming like that. Okay. Let us zoom in. All right, guys, how Allah, he is the creator, and he say this, that he created horses and mules and donkeys. If we ask Zakir Naik about this, what, what Zakir Naik will say? I'm the editor. I create and print at with him. And he's saying, how Allah, he say such an answer. The answer is very simple. Allah is the one who created the horses and the mules. What's wrong with that? My friend, mules are not created. 
mule or not you see isn't it the Quran in different verse in different place he said that Allah he created from every creation male and female hmm? from every creation male and female okay what is the female of the mule <laughs> who is the wife of me who is mrs mule <laughs> because when you say uh you know when you say that uh, allah created the mule that's mean he from the beginning there is a creation of something called the mule it's a kind by itself Uh, Daniel he is saying a good question what is the proof that uh, uh, Yahweh is the creator let us go you see Yahweh was uh, someone we don't see far away and we don't know him and he is like okay almighty God but who is he but you see for us as a Christian we have a person who came to this earth his name is the Messiah and until now by his name miracles happened and in the time of the Messiah, there's a lot of witnesses. And today, a lot of witnesses, and many in the witness for miracles in the name of the Messiah. So, you know, I'm not going to say to you, the Bible say, you can say, I will not believe you because now you are using the same logic of the Muslims. You can go in the Easter day, every year, to the empty tomb of the Messiah, and you will find an amazing light, miracle, come from the empty tomb. And nobody knows how it happened. This is something you can like you can count in minutes and go and see it every year for the last 2000 years. And you can search it by the way in YouTube. You can search it online. And there's tons of miracles happen every day in the name of the Messiah. But Muhammad he have nothing. Claim stuff saying that he said Allah said to me such a statement but this is silly and this is stupid. Right? Because Either this God he knew what he is talking about or he have no idea and obviously uh, uh, You know Allah have no idea Do he no he don't Look with me I read carefully and it is he, and like it when Allah, he says it's he. I mean, obviously, the author is written, the Quran is written by an author who is not Allah. Yet he claimed that the one who is talking is Allah, but it, it cannot be Allah or Allah to be the one who is speaking, and yet he say it is he. That's very weird. Who spread the earth, and Allah, he think the earth is spread and is flat. And placed mountains and rivers. Allah, he believed that mountains are placed in the top of the earth. <laughs> so Muhammad he think that the earth is like a sheet and in order not to fly so Allah he put mountains here and there in the corners and he placed of in two place what to place and he would mean he made in it in, in from everything two kind two kind not the fruits here the word of fruit does not exist you see in Arabic the word of fruit does not exist he made it from everything two kind if you change the translation just to show you because Muslim they might say it says a fruits here no there's no fruits my friend here we go I will change the translation for you and you will see the word of fruit uh, disappear Zawjain Ithnan or Ithnain so there is Zawjain Ithnain two in pairs okay two in pairs from everything there is two in pairs everything he created and scientifically, this is absolutely false. And here, Allah in the other verse in the Quran, saying that how he created the mule. So if he created from everything male and female, and this is about male and female, by the way, from everything two kind or two, this is not just two. They are two, one male and one female. So what is the female mule? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? How Allah He says such a thing, and yet I mean Allah is the Creator, yet He do not know how the mule exists. To say that the mule created 
We see, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe Allah here is, or Muhammad is being metaphorical. Maybe he don't mean it. Maybe, you know, let it go. Let it go. Shall we? All right. Uh, I will give a chance for any Muhammadan to prove me wrong. You know, I will say here that maybe this uh, proof have nothing to do really with the truth. Uh, Allah, he means something else. Any Muslim want to help us? Thank you, Salaiva. Uh, uh, Happy New Year. And the other person, what? Zakir Naik. Leave Zakir Naik alone. Rizq Warak. Zarq Warak. What is that? Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan want to tell us how we can believe that Allah is the creator? What, how how this is can be true? I mean, how you how you can believe in such a thing? Anyone? Surprise me. Any Muhammadan he have any idea? Okay, I will help you. I will help you as, as long as there is no Muhammadan. Here, this is a Muslim uh, Muhammadan website, and the guy is asking a question. Fatwa number, uh, what is the number? Anyway, who, who cares? Evidence that Allah is the only, the creator of the life. The guy is asking, what is the evidence that Allah is the creator of life? Look at the answer. Look at the hilarious answer. The evidence that Allah is the only creator of life may be found in many places in the Quran. <laughs> Unbelievable. So this is the evidence. This is the evidence that Allah is the creator and the evidence can be found in the Quran. Anyone want to help us? Anyone? So the guy is asking you for evidence. You tell him there is a verse in the Quran that says he is the creator. Are you serious? I wonder how. I wonder why. He told me about the blue, blue sky. Uh, smallest seed. Okay, hold on. A Muslim. I don't know why the text is appearing fast. A Muslim, he said, the smallest seed in the Bible. Where is his text? What happened? It disappeared. Where, where is it gone? Maybe here. I don't know why the text disappeared. Anyway, a Muslim, he said, there is a mistake in the Bible that the smallest seed, the, the, the uh, um, uh, you know, the master seed are the smallest. And he's saying this is a mistake. Okay, thank you very much for saying such a thing. Here we go. What if I show you that the Quran copied Jesus and he said that too? If I show you from the Quran that Allah, he said the same, what you will do? Scooby Scooby Doo. You will say it's not a mistake no more. Right? Here we go. I, I, will, I, will, uh, I will show your text so it doesn't disappear. And I will take a, I will take a snapshot of it and I will are you a Christian or you are a Muslim I don't know so the Quran <clears throat> if a Muslim he says that to you say to him that the Quran copied Jesus word by word This is chapter 21, verse number 47. Allah will not be like Mr. Judgment to be balanced in justice, even if it is a master seed. Which means if, even if it is the smallest thing, right? Now, Jesus, when he said master seed, because this is what people they use in their houses, what he will say to them, neutron and butron, 
what he will say to them electron this is what people they use in their houses in their daily life so the messiah is speaking to them in their languages right so it's very silly that a muslim he will say such a thing when the quran using the same statement where jesus is speak do you see it well nadir ahmed is just a kid i mean why even you listen to this kid this guy is, is a <laughs> Okay, if he is the one who was asking me here, he will get busted. But anyway, it's just a kid. Here we go. This is a different verse. Chapter 31, verse number 16. O oh my son, if it be anything equal to the wheat of a grain of a master seed. All right. So the Quran uses it twice, speaking about the master seed as the smallest thing. So when Jesus he's mentioned it that this small as master seed he is speaking to people who this is the language they understand and this is things they knew. But for sure in the time of Jesus they knew there is there is insect they are smaller. You know I mean this is not a secret but he's talking about that, about something they use every day in their daily life. Now we go back to our topic. What is the proof that Allah is the creator la 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 any Muhammad? I really I want to believe you so if you are a Muhammadan and you think there is an answer additional to saying to me that Allah the creator and this is the proof because in the Quran I would like to hear it. First of all, I want you to sit down, lay down in the couch, relax, and think. What is the proof? What is the proof that Allah is the Creator? What is the proof? Any Muhammadan? What is the proof that Allah is the Creator? What is the proof that Allah is the Creator? I mean, come on, it's obvious. Isn't it obvious? Look. He placed mountains in the top of the earth. Hello. And he made the earth flat. Mm. What is the proof that is Allah, the creator? I think we'll spend the whole night saying the same question and no Muslim will answer. You look, you know, after I hang up, all of them, they will say Christian Prince will refute you. Christian Prince is the big fat liar. I'm going to kick him button. First of all, the English is funny. Secondly, his Arabic is stupid. Man, my English is stupid. My Arabic is funny. I don't know who I am. I think I am a, a, I'm an American Indian. Hmm? Do you have any idea? La 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 la. What is the proof that is Allah the Creator? Happy New Year, dear Christian Prince. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you, Mr. John. Uh, my friend, this is the duty of every Christian to share whatever he can share, especially knowledge. I mean, this is something you should not hide in your pocket. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> So what is the proof that Allah is the creator? Huh? I found the proof. Here we go. And be moderate. Between two brackets, this does not exist in the Quran. In your walking and lower your voice. <laughs> because 
<laughs> because the voice of the... the <laughs> ah, unbelievable! Because the donkey voice is the most ugly voice? What is that, man? I mean, what the connection between potato and tomato? This is a wisdom of God shared by a guy, his name is Luqman. You ask the Muslims who is Luqman, they do not know. You know, they are copying stories. We know where it's coming from. So, Luqman is speaking, saying to his son, lower your voice, for the harshest voice of all is the voice of a buried ass. <laughs> Why? His, his son was an ass? I mean, what is the connection between this and this? Imagine your son is talking. You say to him, do your voice for the most ugly voice is the voice of... The most ugly voice for who? I mean, why the voice of the uh, donkey is ugly, by the way? Are you sure, like, you know, his voice? And who is the one who made his voice ugly? Isn't it Allah? <laughs> so Allah... Is talking here or Luqman? And why Allah is saying to us this story? I mean, what is that? If Allah, Allah the God, you see the Muslim, they say to us, nobody can make Quran. But the guy is talking there is a man, his name is Luqman. And this is Quran. I mean, do you see how silly the argument when they say nobody can make Quran? If we ask them, who is the one is talking here? All of this, all of this. Ta -da 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 -la 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 -ta -la -la. And remember when Luqman said to his son, when he was advising him, O oh my son, join not to worship others. Well, this is so Luqman saying that, not Allah. All of this is Luqman talking. So why you say to us nobody can make Quran? Unbelievable. Have a nice meal on me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm really overwhelmed with your love and your care. And really, I love you all. And actually, you know, uh, where I am now, the weather outside is so beautiful. And it was a little bit raining, you know, uh, but it's very, very nice, very nice. You should see the trees outside. Oh boy, very beautiful. Uh, I could not go to the beach today because I'm working hard. I cannot tell you what I'm working in. I'm creating, my friend. <laughs> I'm the creator. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Christian Prince is singing. Oh my. So what? Why I don't sing? <clears throat> hmm. I mean, don't you see how uh, how amazing this is? Quran is. Hmm. Farid, who is this guy, Farid? You know, if this guy, Farid, is exist and he is real, like, maybe he's like Allah. Why he don't call me to destroy me? I mean, all of them, they destroy me. Have you ever heard of a Muslim he did not destroy me? And by the way, if I show you my account in, in, in Amazon, you will not believe it how much I buy glue. Because they destroy me, I glue myself. They destroy me, I glue myself. Like, they, they destroy me in the morning, I glue myself afternoon. I come back. And then they destroy me in the other day. I mean, it's endless, brother and sister. <laughs> All of them, they destroy me. Have you ever seen a Abdul? He don't destroy me. All of them. But nobody dared to call me. And Mimi Hijab, boy, you are a boy. You are a... Abdul. The boy is somebody is 54 years old and he go after a girl. She is six years old. That is a boy. The boy is somebody he says, I'm going to debate a Christian Prince. When a Christian Prince he call, you hang up on him. You coward, potato, tomato. But what? All of them, they destroy me. Let us go back to that topic. What is the proof? What is the proof? That is Allah, is the creator. What is the proof? What is the proof? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look like there's no proof is coming, my friend. Somebody's saying, can we pray 
for hijab and, and, and them uh, to come to Christ. My friend, friend, pray as much as you want. But the Lord, he said, knock at my door and I will open for you. So those people, they are obviously, they choose to be an enemy to the Lord. Because not only they are disbelievers, they choose to be an enemy and deceiving people. And they knew they are lying. You see, everything I say, I show on the screen. I never say something about Islam without showing on the screen, correct? Have you ever seen me saying something and don't show it? Never. This Mimi Hijab, he made a video. It's called Inhalation Respond or Answer to a Positive Prophet. I made a couple of videos about it. It's, it's hilarious. There are, there are a bunch of jokes. So he could not answer... And he gets somebody else to answer, but they are a bunch of kids. Go watch them and, and die laughing. So if those people, they can destroy me, look what happened to them already. And we are here. You know, I believe in prayer. Prayer is powerful, yes. But my friend, we don't wait and for we pray for somebody to be a believer just by saying pray. No, 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 my friend. No, you don't do that. You know, pray. We pray to everybody in the world. To be healthy we pray for everybody to live for everybody to uh, you know to be successful we pray for peace we pray but this is will not uh, make us really doing the the what, what christians should do right uh, christ he he warned us about false teachers so when he say be aware of false teachers he is asking you to be aware and to be aware mean to alarm others about false teachers, not only to be aware yourself. Right? And this is why the Bible says, anyone he bring other than this scripture, he is what? He's a liar. Anyone. So anyone today, Muhammad, anyone, me, you, anyone, he bring other than the scriptures which we given to us from the Christ, the Messiah, he is a liar. And we are here to get them busted. They like it, they don't like it. This is their business. They they claim they destroy me. Please do it every day. Seven days a week. 365 days. Don't stop, don't stop, destroy it. Don't stop, don't stop. I have a lot of glue. I mean, did you notice that this Mimi Hijab, he dared to go to David Wood chat, he dared to go to Sam Shamoon chat, but he don't dare to show up here. <laughs> and he don't dare to call me. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, uh, we want a smart Muhammadan. Forget about Mimi and Susu and Fifi. I mean, those are kids. But I'm sure there is somebody there is a smart who is a smart Muhammadan? He would like to say that there is a proof that Allah is a creator. Anyone? Uh, a holy person prayer are more effective. My friend, the Bible says, go and work, not only pray. So you know, you know, some some sometimes some Christians they come with their own logic about praying, and you know they say uh, the Bible speak about praying. Yes, they speak about praying, but this is an excuse for lazy people to say I will pray for you only. Okay, somebody is dying in the street, is he's hungry. So what you pray that God will send him food or you feed him? Hmm? Your son is taking drugs. Do you pray to God? To make him notice that he is taking drugs and it's bad or you talk to him so we need a smart conversation here we don't want to be silly like the muhammadan don't be silly we pray we pray pray okay pray pray without it says a prayer prayer without act is the same as a tree without a fruits this is the, the word of the bible not mine when you do pray and you have no action he said, that from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their prayer. So there is too many people, they pray too much, but they are fake. They are not willing to do anything. Right? Exactly. You pray, you know, 
what is what is the fruits what is the fruit for is it's a proof that you are really a believer a believer he pray okay now okay i see a believer but what is the proof he's a believer additional to the prayer prayer is not a proof no it's not because it might be fake and the bible speak about such a kind of people the fruits the tree will not give a fruits will be cut off and throw away in the hellfire the messiah he says time will come you know he's speaking about uh, like you know when he come at the judgment day right and they will say to him the messiah we we made miracles in your name he said they part away from me i do not know you i do not know you even those are doing miracles imagine not only if they pray they do miracles in the name of the messiah yet they are a bunch of liars you don't believe me this is what the christ said nothing of me the lord our lord our savior now we go back to our topic <clears throat> until now i did not see one text from a muhammadan in the chat to prove to us that allah is a creator right anyone okay i will i will help the muhammad and i will search in google uh, google is the only helper you know uh, you see i say i was searching google my phone turn on i mean what you what you would do with this phone unbelievable what did you do? i said i said google the phone doesn't go crazy they are spying at us so now they knew all the recipe of my food including include like using using camera urine for uh, uh, you know uh, instead of coconut okay so if we go and see search in google let us see i will search for google uh, <clears throat> uh what uh, the proof that allah is the creator uh, let us search for that uh does uh, i found many uh website but i want to see if i can find something uh, okay let's see proof of the existence of allah uh-huh that is fishy what is the proof of the existence of allah <laughs> <laughs> okay it's not my fault this is what the muslim says don't okay don't uh, don't uh, uh, excuse me i'm not the one is talking here it's uh, the muslims proof of the existence of allah published date 6 26 11 2018 okay mankind in general has mentioned a belief a belief in the existence of the creator okay now the proof Allah says that this is <laughs> means <laughs> so this is the proof that Allah is the creator a proof of fitra spiritual evidence spiritual evidence is a proof that Allah exists okay my friend but Buddhas the Buddhas people they, they have a spiritual belief but they don't believe in Allah <laughs> same as the hindu hello would this have to do with the proof of allah second proof proof of fitra natural inborn belief in allah hold on hold on <laughs> okay uh, by the way i was speaking like people from texas so you are born believing allah huh are you sure okay as long you are born believe in Allah so why Allah will send you to hell if we go to the hadith let us go to the hadith shall we shall we go shall we stay shall we do it anyway here we go this is Aisha and Muhammad they have a conversation about a funeral of little baby child who was a Muslim who died early an infant and Aisha she said 
Well, happiness for this baby, who he did not reach the age of maturity, he is an infant. He will be a bird from the birds of paradise. Muhammad, he said to her, shut up, Aisha, per adventure. It might be the otherwise. Do you see it? So, if Allah is exist, and everyone is born believing Allah, so why this baby will go to hell? Any Muhammadan have an idea? No, no, this is uh, this is uh, Sahih. <laughs> it is Sahih Muslim, uh, Hadith number two six six two C. See, I think here mean like carrot. See, like Hadith number two six six two carrot, carrot or carbon or I don't know cardboard. I don't know what is that or cow. What do you think, Muslims? If this person he born is born as a Muslim and this is what fitra you believe in, so why this child will go to hell? He did not even commit sin. Hmm. Why God created a snake? Because we knew that the snake tempts them and fail into the sin. Doesn't God know? The, no, my friend. You see, uh, people who read the Bible, there is two ways to read the Bible. Either you are a person who is trying to be naive but is smart, or a person trying to understand the Bible as a spiritual book. So, when God speaks about the snake, that first is not really a snake. All of us, we knew that Satan was an angel in Christianity. He's an angel, literally an angel. Not only an angel, a high rank angel. And he fell. So, the word snake here, for he did, let us say, he sneak, you know, like a snake. You know, he did something evil. So, God did not create Satan to be Satan. He created him to be an angel. And then the angel he chose to be Satan. So, this is our belief and your, your question far away from the truth. In Islam, no. In Islam, Allah created Satan to be Satan. I answered you already. Will man? <laughs> this guy is waiting for the answer. I think he is using the internet of the neighbors. It's going to come to him after 15 minutes. So, no, God did not create the snake to deceive. God created an angel. And the angel, because in Christianity we have a free will. So, the angel with the free will, he decided to be Satan. Same as you can decide to be evil too. This is the teaching of Christianity, my friend. All right. Could you do a video one day about what? The miracles of the Quran together sometime. My friend, I have a whole book. My books is about the miracle of the Quran. Read them. And I have hundreds and thousands of videos about the miracle. Okay, what miracle? Here we go. Look at this miracle. The baby is born. And the Muslim, they say that Muhammad, he said that you are born in the fitrah, which means you are born in a natural way to believe in Allah. So why this baby will go to hell? Some, they read the Bible like a newspaper. No, no, even worse, because simply they can believe in a newspaper more than they believe in the book because in advance they have a negative idea about the book. You know what I mean? Because the atheists and schools and teachers all is concentrating in attacking the Bible. By the way, nobody attacked the Quran in, in, in any university in the West. Nobody even speak about the stupidity of the Quran, but they concentrate on the Bible. So this is why when a, when a person, he go from that background, he start reading, he start reading in a negative way based on what he heard. The God, he created evil, but not in the purpose of being evil. A God, he created angel and the angel turned into be evil by his choice. And if God, he knew the future, yes, he knew, but that does not make any different. That he will be involved this is what is the whole world is about if he is involved okay I'm going to stop the evil from doing evil right so where is the free will you see those atheists they complain if there's no free will <laughs> and they complain when there is a free will <laughs> can you challenge a Farid to debate I mean my friend we challenge everybody who is this Farid who is this Fifi 
Is that free that rush? وياك وياك ايه الدنيا حلوه وياك This is a Farid. Who is this Farid? Farid? I challenge the biggest Imam scholar in the world to call me and we will speak and we will give him time, not like them hang up on me. They don't dare, my friend. We challenged all of them. Don't mention to me the name of this guy and this guy. All of them, they are potatoes and that's why they don't dare to call me. If they knew, trust me, if they knew that can get Christian Prince busted, they will call him live on air and they will not hesitate for a second. Don't you understand that? Don't you know that? Do you think they are waiting, hiding in the bushes, and they knew they can get me down? So why they are waiting? The reason is very simple. They do not dare. So don't promote, promote anyone here in my chat, otherwise I will block you. You see, somebody is asking who is this guy now. So don't be stupid. Don't promote people unless you are a Muslim. You are doing that. Those are a bunch of kids. They don't even count for me. My my, I, I go live on air almost every day, and people they can call me. And the one who have the courage, here we go. I'm here. You know, I didn't say uh, tomorrow at six o'clock. If you don't call me, you pass the point. And then we wait for forty minutes, and then we we call. They hang up on me, and then they mute me, and they hang up on me again, and then they mute me, and they hang up on me. And each time we mention a topic, they change the topic. Cowards, potato. Potato, 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 potato. Can you talk, David? Saying, "How are you, David, my friend? I hope your day is going good." Uh, can you talk, please talk about the famous miracle of Mu, in which he split the moon? <laughs> David, I did not tell you the truth about that. A brother and sister, this is the truth story. The one who spit the truth, the, the moon for, for real, it was not Muhammad. It was the mother-in-law of my friend. She was throwing her shoes at him when he was running away from the house. And her shoe flew all the way to the moon and split the moon to be thin. I mean, split the moon. Actually, even the Quran never say that Allah he split the moon or even Muhammad. Go read it. I mean, it's the most silly, stupid statement. They don't they even read. They don't know even how to read. Here we go. In al Qamar. La 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 la. Hmm. Chapter 54, verse number 1. Where it says that Allah split the moon. Tell me. Where it says that Muhammad split the moon, show me. Where? I don't see it. The hour has a drawn near and the moon has a split. This is a stupid idiot. He thinks that the judgment day started because the moon split, but this was eclipse. Actually, this verse alone is enough to prove that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. Because he is saying the hour has drawn near and the moon has split. So what is the reason for the moon to split? Somebody give me the answer. What is the reason for the moon to split? It is the judgment day hour. Is near. Actually, it started. Correct? It started. This is not a miracle to do miracle. No, this is a judgment. This is a judgment day sign. Do we know how to read, guys? Do we know how to read? Isn't it, is, isn't it saying that or I'm lying? So this is alone a proof that to us that Muhammad is a fraud. What is the judgment day? This is 1400 years ago. This is a false prophecy. Secondly, where is the moon which is split? Allah he glue it again like Christian Prince. Each time we destroy him, he glue himself again. Moon. Let me call the moon. Ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. Ah, somebody answering. Uh, uh, Mr. Moon? Uh, uh, hello? Mr. Moon, I have uh, a question about you splitting yourself. Christian Prince, I'm going to split myself to be thin because of you. I'm going crazy. How in the world do you think I'm on the moon? It's true I'm tiny, it's true I'm very beautiful and handsome, but I am not the moon. And plead for God's sake, for the sake of Allah, leave me alone. Oh, sorry, Zach and Ike. I did hit the wrong bomb and I call you by mistake. I was calling the moon, actually. <laughs> I mean, you have to be a fool to believe in such a miracle. It's obvious. It's a, it's a, it's a fraud. 
there's no no moon split and Muhammad he made a false prophecy actually you you should so show every Muslim about this because this is alone proving that Muhammad is a fraud if I say to you the moon is split and the judgment day is near that's mean the judgment day is near and there's a moon, the moon split and why the moon they will come back together for what for simply it says judgment day that's it so people they will see you know do you remember when we uh, uh no 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 hold on hold on hold on what is the name of this guy is that the same guy you say his name uh, farido dido when they made a video in heliation for uh uh, uh the apostate prophet the guy he said in the video the, uh, in the video of mimi hijab which this guy i don't know his name i think maybe fifi so he said the reason nobody saw uh the splitting of the moon because it was for a few seconds so why Allah he made it happen if nobody will see it anyway <laughs> unbelievable oh boy take me with you because I love you so you must be crazy to believe in that oh take me with you take me with you Muhammad you crazy oh but I mean this is a crazy this is the best they have go and watch it in the Mimi Hijab video it's called annihilation I made a video about it go watch it he says the reason nobody saw the split of the moon because it happened for a few seconds few seconds that fast like like I mean this is a, what kind of miracle it happens so fast huh do you know a youtuber from germany he is a big youtuber expose islam uh, yeah for sure i know him amir he speak to me always and actually i visited amir in his uh, personal house yeah for sure i know amir he called me always very good guy <clears throat> now do we have any abdul Look how many times I keep saying who is a Muslim would like to show us. No, 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 no. Could you approve, mention some books that Muhammad copied from the Quran? Uh, I don't know what you mean, copy from the Quran. Maybe you mean Muhammad copy from those books to the Quran. Yeah, this uh, this one, it's, a, it's a, itself. This is an Arabic poetry of a man. His name is Imr al Qais. Iqtarabat al Sa'a wa Shaq al Qamar. You know? This is a verse taken from a poet of a man who was speaking about his girlfriend or his love, his beloved woman. Who, when she come, it's like the moon split. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a poetry. It's, it have nothing to do with, you know? Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. Uh, let us drink water okay I you know for me uh, if I want to drink water I will drink water from the fountain of youth here we go this is a clear proof that Allah and Muhammad is a prophet you know how Allah he knew that the, 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 the movie of the Caribbean is true about there's a fountain it's the fountain of youth and if you drink from it you will become a green and you will live forever how Allah he knew this you tell me any Mohammedan will huh? let us see how Muhammad he knew here we go the water of life Ta -la -la -la. actually this uh, story needs some sound effect sorry I mean that doesn't make sense to talk about it like this this is like the, you know Caribbean uh, the movie the Caribbean movie uh, it's obviously still in the story from Prophet Muhammad at the rock there was a water spring called Al Hayat and none now hold on this back back uh, sorry stop this background music is not working with me I want something more aggressive. 
Hey, hold on. This one, I'm getting, I'm getting dizzy. This is like going in an elevator, and the elevator is located in Romania. You know, once I went in the elevator in Romania, I, I felt like I'm in, in, the, in, the, in like a. I'm not going to get out. I mean, it was really small, tiny. You can't even open the door. You can't even close the door. You know, the door like it's like you know. Anyway, uh, we need something like uh, because this is serious. This is not serious too. Forget about the effect, man. We will make effect by our own. At the rock, there was a water spring called Al Hayat, which means the life. A nun, and the brother and sister, nun. And if you know what the nun mean, you will believe that none of you heard of it. A brother, the water of Al Hayat, nun, and nun come in touch with it but became alive hey, hold on i was alive already <laughs> unbelievable i mean how he will touch it but he's dead hello so like you are dead now and you go there and you touch the water you became alive what the heck that is so smart so, brother and sisters, this is the story about Musa's, Prophet Musa's, and Al Khudr, Mr. Green. I mean, isn't it obvious that Allah is God? We live in a fountain of youth, you drink from it, you became a green, and you live forever. And you are challenging people about uh, uh, to, believe, to, to prove that Allah is, for sure it exists. Look at this. You know, actually, at that time, by the way, this is the name of the fountain of uh, youth. It, uh, today it's called Pepsi Cola. Commercial name, you know, everything became commercial these days. Uh, today it's called mineral water. You go to Europe, everybody drinking mineral water. I mean, look how they how look how they control their your mind. They make you believe if you drink this water, you will become healthy. You drink from it, second day you get sick. Mineral water, you're right. I mean, even water is it water is mineral anyway. It's water. Can you explain why Abdul cannot drink? My friend, number one customers for alcohol in the Middle East are Muslims. Go ask anyone. Nobody drink as they do. Nobody drink as they do. Muhammad himself is used to be drunk three days, four days a week. The Muslim themselves, they used to go to pray and they are drunk. Even when, when they start making fun of Muhammad, and here you see that Muhammad, the Muslim, they say, the Prophet, he brought to them Islam in stages. Right. Uh -huh. So it was okay to be drunk in the beginning. Uh -huh. And later it is not okay. Chapter 4, verse number 43. Muslims, they pray with Muhammad and they are totally drunk. So uh, the guy will say, Bismillah al What? Do you see it? Do you see it? This is Quran. This is not me saying. Wala taqrabu salata wa antum sakara. And you are drunk. Why this verse is mentioned? Because they are drunk. You see it? The disciple of Muhammad, they are a bunch of a drunk. This is what the verse is saying. You can go and read the interpretation, not me. So, while the disciple of Jesus was the most amazing man, the disciple of Muhammad, if we can call them disciple, let us say they are the, he's a fraud, they are a bunch of a drunk people. And the proof in the front of you. La, 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 la. Bunch of a drunk. Black evil. Brother and sister, at that time, black label was allowed. It was not haram, brother. And after that, brother, okay, where, where, what, what happened? Muhammad, he got sick because a woman, she gave him poison. He can't drink no more. So he forbid drinking. Right? You are so hilarious. Are you talking about me or my computer? 
So I mean, I don't know, like, what is that? And look here what it says. Anybody notice something wrong in this uh, verse? Who of you will tell me something wrong in this verse? Because the weather is nice. I told you the weather is very nice. I, 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 you know, it, I love it here. I wish I can live here actually, but you know, the problem is <clears throat> when I came here, I did not say inshallah before I arrive. So it's not working. You have to say inshallah, otherwise nothing will work. Do you remember the story of uh, the prophet who had sex with 99 women and he forgot to say inshallah so he could not make any one of them have a baby for him? Not even one. See what happened was you don't say inshallah. Hmm. <clears throat> so anyone notice something wrong in this uh, Quran? Look what Quran says. Imagine you say to your mother, or let us say, you have a bunch of people. You are you see the the Muslim they they, they invite uh, like this guy. His name is what his name? Sabil something. He's a he's a sneaky person. He speaks like he's a peaceful, blah, 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 you know, like, you know, to, to come, trying to convert America into Islam. So he said to him, Islam respect women. Look how Islam respect women. There's things will make your prayer illegitimate. If you do, if you touch your poo, poo and if you touch a woman, not intercourse, you see the lie here. It says in Arabic, وَإِن لَا مَسْتُمْ النِّسَاء لَا مَسْتُمْ If you touch, not intercourse. Since when, if you touch a woman, that intercourse? Why? Are you a rabbit? If you change the translation, you will see that the intercourse is not there. Let us go. It is different translation. Hilali and Khan. Where the intercourse? Did you see if they will see intercourse here? Okay. Huh? In state of Janaba, it doesn't say where. Well, it says it says Lamestum. What the heck? Okay, change the translator. Hold on. Just to show you how they lie when they translate. You cannot even trust any of them. Ah, look what happened now. Uh -huh. If you have touched women, do you see how touched women became intercourse suddenly? Do you notice? Because it's horrible to say such a thing. They start adding things that does not exist. The Quran doesn't say intercourse. It says if you have if you touched. And since when? I mean, this is Arabic clear. Since when the word touch mean intercourse? Mean to, let me let me see today how many how many times I have intercourse today. I touch uh, okay, and that uh, okay and in the store, uh-huh. And the other uh, you know, men, even men, I, I, I shake hands with them. Is that intercourse? <laughs> unbelievable what is that I mean they don't know how much they can lie hmm? and the brother if you cannot find water to do ablution rub your face with some uh, uh, rub your faces with your hands I mean what this is how stupid this this religion is so okay so now you are dirty and now you will become clean if you if you rub your hand over your face. Let us make it simple. If you touch, if you do poo poo, huh? if you do poo poo, and if you touch a woman, you are not a clean. So what we do? Rub your face with your hands. Like what? Like what? What? So now your hand is full of poo poo, and now you will be clean by rubbing your hands into your face. And now Allah, He accept your prayer. Why? What is the logic? Guys, I have to tell you the truth. In the Middle East, we as Arab, when we eat fish to clean our hand after eating fish, we just rub our hands in our face. What is this? I mean, did you see the solution? So supposedly you are now any clean. Okay. Wash by water. Okay, there's no water. 
or by sand. Okay, there's no sand. Rub your hands in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! This is the most advanced detergent ever. It's called uh, uh, in Arabic. It's called uh, Allah shampoo, shampoo, not shampoo, shampoo. Rub your hand in your face. Don't you think this is too much uh, comedy? So how now, by rubbing your hands in your face, you you became a clean? Explain to us. Who is a Muslim? Want to explain to us? Huh? Who is the one when I explain to us if you rub your hand and your face now you became dirty? You went to the bathroom, you touch your bum, <coughs> okay? Or you touch a woman, as the verse saying. And now you are dirty, brother. So what you will do if there is no water and there is no sand? You rub your hands and your face, mashallah, alhamdulillah. What a religion. What is that? No, the translation here you see it says uh, uh you know when you rub your hand you rub your face with your hands this is what it says you know. where is the muhammadan today okay okay muhammadan relax relax we will uh, we will take a break so you can relax forget about this topic we will move on and we will change the topic for you so you will not feel that you are oh I mean what is that sound like something not right here two birds they are doing French kiss haram haram we are allowed to kiss four at the same time but you cannot kiss <laughs> okay Hey, hold on hold on how you are kissing her without rubbing your hand in your face you idiot bird what's wrong with you okay now you are dirty you cannot pray to Allah so now what you do there's no sand you are in the jungle and maybe there's no water and you are a bird so what do you do you rub your hand on your face continue Look like the Muhammadan are not coming. What I can do? I mean, I play music for them. We both relax in the scene for them. I mean, what we will do? How we can make uh, Muslims call us? <clears throat> no, guys, this is you see the way you see it wrong because you are you have a dirty mind. <laughs> we are Arab. We see it differently. Those are two birds fighting over food. Because it's what we do in the Middle East. No? Okay, explain to you. You can go right now and search how Middle Eastern like me go in the bus in the Middle East. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> mean, by the time you arrive at the door, you will be without underwear. Your jacket will be flying, your t-shirt will be pieces, your pants will be in different galaxy. And then if you get in, you will not get out. Brother. And then you will see the Ahmadiyya, they go in the morning to clean London. Aha. So they are very, very, very severe in London, but in the Ahmadiyya middle town, they are not. Okay.
we have only 668 people why okay we will change the topic hold on we will speak about a topic which is going to make people interested and more people and even Muslims will come hold on I knew the solution Here we go. Review. What is that? Review brother and sister for iPhone. Now you will see how many people will come. Review on phone. <laughs> oh no, this is a topic and maybe it's not, not everybody he cares for phones. Let us, let us uh, look for something more interesting. Hello. Hmm something international okay like something will make everybody come here immediately that will work now you will see people they see the the, the logo in youtube who are doing podcast and they see this beef and meat and whatever and people will come from everywhere <laughs> If they did not come from the picture, they will come from the smell. Make a topic, sexy women, everybody come. Really? <clears throat> All right. How many of you get hang get hangry now? Be honest, be honest. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, between us, how many of you get hungry because of me? Actually, me, myself, I mean, I wish I can have this meal. Eww, this is what happened to you when you are single, you know? You eat the same meal every day. <clears throat> la, 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 Even my stomach is talking. <laughs> I supposedly I'm going to make my topic interesting and bring people, but now I'm the one is angry. I'm going to leave. <laughs> hey, I eat you. I eat you. I eat you. All right. <clears throat> hey guys, be honest. Do you do you enjoy your time with the, with the Christian brands? Christian brands, not the brands. Do you do you like Christian brands? Okay, if you like Christian brands, so why why uh, the the fufu and the mimi and the susu they don't like me? What's wrong? Unbelievable! Truly, truly, I'm a very nice guy. I mean, I don't know why they why they hate me. <laughs> I have no idea. Topic: How would we know that Allah is the Creator? Yes, this is the topic. How we knew that Allah is the create the one who created cheese kebab? No, huh? how we knew? What is the proof? <clears throat> Oh. well I'm so happy to have you all of you you people are wonderful except that you have like a hundred things I don't like let us start counting <laughs> I will start counting after we hang up in your back all right we are a people we don't like to do gossiping absolutely we only rip you apart when you are away. <laughs> Unbelievable. We have a very healthy society, by the way, not like those Western Kuffar infidel. Ah, mean. <laughs> Yuck. No way. Go and live in the Middle East and enjoy it. Oh, hold on, hold on. I will make a topic about someone. I will not tell you who. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Something nice happened yesterday. I will make a topic about it. Guys, please stay with Mr. Prince and obey your parents. Stay with Mr. Prince and obey your... What the connection? <laughs> it sounds like you are making Quran, my friend. Thank you, thank you, all of you. <clears throat> my evil laugh? This is not evil laugh. What make it evil? Why, why, why you say evil laugh, man, friend? You hurt my feeling now. But look, my feeling. 
It hurt. Don't do that again, please. Why you are hurting my feeling? Huh? La 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 la. Okay, how many of you now are thinking about making some dinner or some lunch, depending on your location? How many here from Indonesia today? You see, I make it now so we can have some from our brothers and sisters from Indonesia. Uh, CP, have you a special spot in the kingdom of heaven? Thank you, my friend. Well, I pray that all of us, we will have a place. And this is the promise of the, the Lord. So all of us, we will be there, you know. But just be 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 sure that you have you are a person who don't just have faith but would know truth in it which means blind faith not tr fake faith you know just be a, a fruitful person so you can be with the messiah the fish oh let us talk about fish you remind me about the fish uh, here we go because here the story brother is speaking about a fish who touched the water of youth and this fish or whale he became alive <laughs> actually this is what i do by the way i go for fishing and then what i do i have a bottle of water from the fountain of youth which none come in touch with it it's water and became alive so look what i do brother i go and i buy sardine the one in the can, yeah. And then I open it because I want to use it live bait. Then what I do, I put some water on the sardine, which is dead from two years ago. And then the sardine brother will come back to life. True story and the proof in the front of you. Now, who is a Muslim when I get me busted? Hmm? Who is a Muhammad when I get me busted? Either you say that Muhammad, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They cannot say it's a lie. It is al-Bukhari. You know, you know the story. This is daif and fat and skinny and you know this garbage. Huh? This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Why does Islam hate cat and dogs? No, Islam does not hate cat actually. Uh, you see, one of the most famous person in Islam who report Muhammad, his name is Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira. Huraira mean uh, it's a name of a cat. It's like you know when you spoil a cat, you call it Huraira. This guy he have cats all over him. So the Muslims, Muhammad, he taught taught them that the dog is dirty, the cat is not. But the fact, if you search right now in Prophet Google, peace upon him, you will find that the bite of a cat is way more dangerous than the bite of a dog you don't believe me search Google all right <clears throat> search Google right now cats bites is more dangerous and have way more bacteria you know cats they have a very sharp teeth they are small yes but there's there's a lot of very dangerous bacteria in their saliva so when they bite you, they insert their, their bacteria inside your skin. And actually, let us, uh, you know, let us search it in Google. Hold on, give me a second. Otherwise, they will say he's lying. He's lying. All right. <clears throat> I just search. I mean, I did not really uh, search much. I just searched uh, a cat bite uh, infection versus dogs. It says, here we go. Dogs bite uh, prevention. It's okay. Dogs bite may look worse because the teeth are larger, but the slender, sharp, uh, 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 okay, the cat. So what is saying that the cat put a lot more bacteria in the tissue of your skin or your body. All right. And that will cause a very serious damage. Do you see it? Which one is more dangerous, cat bite or dog's bite? Obviously, it is cat. Why? Because the mouth of a cat is more 
uh, you know, have more bacteria, way dangerous bacteria, more than the dog. Dog bite is more harmful as as a strength because the dog he have a strong jar, you know. Do you see it? But obviously, Muhammad he hate dogs, and the reason. You know, some people they might hate dogs because they have a phobia, or because dogs they have a special sensation they can sense bad energy. Uh, Shia they believe Al Bukhari is not a truth. Yeah, but the Shia they have their own garbage too. I mean, so. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. So do we have any Muslim here? What person do you like, cats or dogs? I believe all animals in this earth is exist for a reason. You know, a useful reason. But when a dog or a cat, they became any useful, I think we are doing, we are, we are having them for the wrong per, uh, reason. However, uh, a dog can be a very good friend and they are loyal way more loyal than cats cats she don't care who is the owner whoever bring her food she come dogs are different so let us say dogs they have more personality than any other animals when it's come to relationship with a human you can see and you can see many videos all over youtube about somebody he die and the dog he go and sleep in his grave he don't want to leave you know what i mean so uh, are they even better than your family maybe somehow I mean your family they will forget about you second day and they will have party maybe especially if the if the dead one is me <laughs> so uh, uh, dogs are very loyal right so uh, they are more friendly and they are useful to human being however cats are useful too because you see cats they eliminate a lot of insects a lot of uh, mice so you know god he created everything in balance there's a balance in this earth even insects they are in, exist for a reason you know it's a chain it's a chain of food you know there's nothing is exist maybe even the ugly ones which you hate you know they are exist for a reason can you please tell islam why islam hate donkeys but not giraffe no muhammad he never saw a giraffe to speak about giraffe you know uh, but muhammad he didn't say he like he hit donkeys he used to ride one but he considered donkey is something to disturb your prayer i don't know why three things would disturb a muslim prayer a dog and a donkey and a woman you know three things <clears throat> let us see the hadith where it says uh, here we go it says here clearly that the three things will make your prayer is invalid if there's a three things before him equal to the black of the saddle that cover him in the case there is not of or etc so he mentioned three things which is uh, an ass and then a woman and a black dog so muhammad he made women equal to donkeys and dogs am i lying the hadith in front of you and this is sahih muslim because later they will say it's a liar he's a liar this is a weak hadith and not only that Muhammad he have an obsession with the black color he hated black color so he he, he, he considers shaitan is a black the angel is white black dog is the devil even dog, even animals if they are black they are devil just because they are black as you see in the hate in front of you you know they ask the prophet what what uh, you know like uh, uh what the difference between a black dog and a white dog i mean why muhammad he says a black dog is a devil 
Why did not say white dog or yellow dog? He said the black dog. The reason he the the dog like why disturb the prayer by a black dog? What what about the yellow dog? Dog is a dog. No, the black dog, as you see, is the devil. Right. And as you see, we are showing the reference, and this is a very uh, healthy hadith. Approved by all Muhammadan. So look, uh, look at this. Until now, we could not, we did not get. Here we go. You are asking, what is the proof that Allah is God? Here we go. This is this is genius. The black dog is the devil. How Muhammad knew that if he is not a genius? Right? Muslims say everything they do is a force by Allah. If they kill someone, it's because of Allah. Does it mean that if they rape a baby? Yeah, exactly. Because everything you do, evil or bad or good, it is written on Allah, He decides your destiny. You know, even when a Muslim, even like when ISIS, they slaughter somebody, they are not, according to Islam, they are not the one who slaughter you. It is Allah. If you go in the Quran, it says, وَمَا رَمَيْتْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَى It's not me who, uh, if you go to chapter 8, verse number 17, it's not you who slaw them. It is Allah. Do we have any Muhammadan here? So guys, how long we are here? The radical Muslims. First, there's nothing is called radical Muslim. This is a big fat lie. When somebody says to you radical Muslim, uh, what does that mean? Ask yourself first, what radical Muslim mean? A, a, a radical Christian, as an example. What is radical? There's nothing is called radical. Either you are a Christian or you are not. So if I say, who is a radical Christian? Is somebody, he followed Jesus. Okay, love your enemy plus uh, who, he, whatever, you know. Now, radical Muslim is somebody he follow Muhammad. He is a true Muslim. Why you call him radical? You know what I mean? Thank you, Enoch. Thank you. Happy New Year, my friend. Do you understand? So this radical thing is, is like a... Um, to make yourself you are not speaking against muslims it's a hypocrisy thing either you're a muslim or not muslim a muslim is somebody he follow allah there's muslims they are they don't as simple as that the same as the christian there's a christians who they are christian by name they are in fact they are not christians if your name is george doesn't make you christian if you wear a cross doesn't make you christian same as a muslim a person who don't follow islam he is not a muslim even the quran confirmed that so there is no such a thing it's called radical muslim it's a big fat lie and they want to make you repeat that word so when you when you speak about isis it's, this is isis isis are following muhammad step by step the one who do not join isis is a fake muslim this is the truth you know you see the quran said that a muslim a true muslim he will not even take his own family as a friends if they are not Muslims. Those who live in the West and they pay tax. The Quran says in chapter 5 verse 51, take not Christian and Jews as a friends. Right? And the one who do take them as a friend, he's one of them. In chapter 58 verse number 22, it says that the Muslim will not take as a friend or protectors even his own family members, his father and his brothers and their sons from their own tribe, if they are not Muslims. So you tell me who is a true Muslim these days? 
Did you see how they celebrate the Christmas? Did you see Muhammad Salah, the famous uh, 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 football player? <laughs> he called his daughter Mecca, but he was he have a Christmas tree in his house. He's a fake Muslim. This is haram. This is his family in the front of the Christmas tree. What? Right? The Quran forbid to do anything the Christians do. This is kuffar. You know those kuffar. You don't do that. You don't do this. I'm trying to avoid the picture of his child. I don't want to show his child in the picture, even though he is the one who posted. Because he have his daughter there in the picture. All right. You see the Christmas tree? Here we go. Look. So Christmas tree is haram, but they do Christmas tree. Uh, uh, paying tax for uh, government is not Islamic is haram, but they pay tax. They're taking citizenship, living in between them, it's haram, but they do that, you know. So those are fake Muslims. You know, you see the guy, his name is Abu Qutada. He is a mujahid, supposedly, but by blah, 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 blah. But he lived in England and he got paid from the government welfare. <laughs> they are the kuffar and the kuffar feeding him anyway uh, I think uh, if there is any mention of the ghazwa in the Quran all the Quran is about uh, the ghazwa All the Quran. I mean, I don't know what you are talking about. Isn't it all the Quran is about attacking non-Muslims? All of it. So when you say, uh, you know, that would be kind of a strange. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Wanna say something? La 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 la. Now we hang up, they make videos to refute the Christian prince. Okay, make videos. People laugh. Everything we say, we prove it. Uh, is it necessarily to get baptized in order to become a Christian? But, you know, the Lord, he said that whoever believe in me and die will live, which means, let us say, what if you are a person who just decide to believe from your heart, not just because you want to save yourself, you know, if, if, you know, you know what I mean? It's not like, okay, I'm now dying. Maybe Jesus will save me. So I will be, no, if you are really from your heart. So if you remember the story in, about the, the Messiah and the cross, David, when he was in the cross, there was a person next to him, and he believed in the Messiah. The Messiah, he promised him to be with him in heaven. Correct? But he did not get baptized. So, yes, you can, you know, you are a Christian, but baptism, baptism is a necessity in Christianity. For first of all, you will receive the blessing from the Holy Spirit, because you are alive now. You are not going to die after a second. Uh, so, it's going to bless your life when you are alive. And... In the same time, you announce yourself as a Christian, and at uh, the uh, same time, it's like metaphorical and spiritual and a real, a real blessing. 
so you wash yourself from the previous life as a pagan person worshiping wrong worship wrong person so yes i encourage you david i know you left islam you know you know uh, i encourage you to uh, to do baptism actually when you do baptism really you will feel different you will feel really something amazing happening in your life it's like suddenly you are it's 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 something very hard to explain it's something spiritual especially if you are a truly truly believer not just a person just doing it you know right <clears throat> uh, yeah anyway I think we have enough for today did we have a good time guys you see the time I'm doing it now it's not really a good time to have too many viewers uh, but uh, during the time I'm really working hard and uh, I'm not even staying late awake you know most of the time I'm sleeping so early even in New Year evening I slept like 9 30 p.m. imagine you know and I don't have internet actually in that day uh, actually no I don't have internet I have internet that day I don't know anyway so uh, you know like uh, uh, I'm not staying because I'm doing some kind of uh, 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 let us say physique uh, work physique in French anyone speak French here let me teach you French if you want to learn French uh, just add Lou in the front of anything as an example you want to take a taxi so what do you say Lou taxi the taxi stop and then you want to go let us say to the Champs-Elysees so you say to him Lou Champs-Elysees he take you all right then you go to the restaurant you want to eat all right First day you go and you say la uh, shish kebab, they give you shish kebab. Lou, uh, you know, uh, hamburger, they give you a hamburger. See, it's working, you know. Uh, and then, then until you know, like uh, you say, Lou, Christian prince, the guy, the waiter, waiter, he will say to you, Lou, I am an Arab, and Lou, you are stupid, and Lou, I know Christian prince, I will kick you out from long time from here. You think this Lou is working? It's not. <laughs> Lou, 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 <clears throat> Lou. <coughs> so, do we have any Mohammedan? Lou, any Lou Muhammad? Uh, good night, Eris. Thank you. Because which one you like more, my sense of humor or my sense of hammer? <laughs> what does that mean, man? This guy, he come with ideas, which is very weird. Do you think he's drinking camel urine or something? <laughs> oh, Lulu. Oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Muslim, they say music is forbidden, but they play music. Absolutely. I mean, go and watch their TV station, not only music, belly, belly dancing, Ramadan, especially Ramadan. Ramadan is the month of belly dancing and naked women in the TV. Men, oh men. <clears throat> I remember when I was a kid, the, the second Ramadan program is talking TV. She said to me, go, go, to, go sleep, go to your room. Okay, turn the TV off. That they go, I want to watch, mom. Turn the TV off. Just go to your room. This is what Ramadan is about. Chiki chiki. Nasheed is haram. All the music is haram. But you, you know, you remember the Quran itself. They sing it. They sing the Quran. So how music is haram, and that you sing the Quran because, you know. Uh, the funny uh, the Quran speak about that issue let me show you something as long as you mention this topic 
If you go to chapter 47, verse number 30, it says here, <clears throat> And if we would, uh, oh sorry, if we could show them into thee to Muhammad, so that should not, uh, shouldst know them surely by their marks, and thou shall know by the burden of their talk. Translation here is very silly. Just, just hold on. Man. You see, the Quran claim that the one who make tone with their sound, they are evil people. In the same time, he do tone in his speech. Allah, he make a tone, which is Aka Muhammad. So, how how if you make tone with your sound that will make you an evil person yet allah he make a tone or muhammad he make a tone in his quran hmm? in different verse on the quran the quran say let us see Those who make speeches, decorated speeches, to make it sound nice, they are evil people. Likewise did we make for every messenger an enemy. Allah actually, you know, this is false translation. I mean, I have to try and change translation every two seconds. It doesn't say uh, evil, it says shaitan. Unbelievable. It's really disgusting. You can't even find it. Here we go, you see? Shayateen, we made to the evil prophet Shayateen, Shaitan, Satan, not the evil people, among the mankind and the jinn, inspiring one of them with adorned speeches as a delusion. So look, they speak, they sing the Quran, and the Quran condemned any adorned speech because it's a speech of delusion. Do you see the contradiction? So the one who sing or make a tone, who make a speech which is, let us say, uh, uh, he try to decorate his speech. Not he don't speak normally. He is evil. He is shaitan. Is it me saying that? This is the Quran, as you see. Did I answer you, my friend? You see, you guys, you know, like there's there are things we don't talk about because nobody asks, you know. Like you have, you know, uh, in, in my head, like let's say, there's one one book, two book, three book, five books, five books, five books, five books, five books come tomorrow, guys, I'm going to count the books. Anyway, so in order to pick up a page from a shelf, you have to give me the question. So the one who decorate a speech is a, is the devil. So Allah, he proved that Allah himself is the devil. Because it's what the Quran is about, singing the Quran. Why you want to sing it? Why you want to sing it? This is the word of God. Why are you singing it? If this is God. What is that? Is the purpose is the word or the sound? What is the purpose? Is the purpose the message? Or the tone? Mr. Hack Takop, he wanna call me? Oh, okay. But he said I am not in his level, so. <laughs> oh. uh, come on and tell me who is the son, is the father, and who is the Holy Spirit, and who was Jesus is. Well, uh, here we go. We have a Muslim, finally. He is, is trying to be smart. But my friend, I don't know, I will answer you. But why you don't help me too to tell us how we can prove that Allah is God? Now let us answer you about 
uh, your question come on CP tell me who is the son who is the father who is the Holy Spirit who was Jesus is I mean look how silly the question is that the father is the father the son is the son and the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit I mean you have the answer there God which is visible that is Jesus the Messiah the one who come in the flesh of a man that we call him the son God who is a spirit with us that is the Holy Spirit God who is in heaven that we call him the father now I will ask you the same question how Jesus is a three and yet he is one in the same time who is Jesus is Jesus the spirit you see this is your question not my question don't bite your tongue and try to change the topic you are the one who came with this question so now I'm asking you how Jesus is a spirit of God and he is man and he is the word this is your Quran and this is your translation you can tell me what translation you like I will choose it for you and your Quran saying that Jesus is one person but yet he is a three in the same time how Jesus can be three and one remember this is your question not mine I answered you how Jesus is a spirit and he is a man and he is the Word of God in the same time he is a spirit proceeding from God not only is not only spirit from him proceeding from him and he is his word the Messiah is the Word of God and he is the Spirit of God and he is the man how a three can be one are you there my friend or you are going to take a hike now can we say bye-bye or you are you there what happened to this guy If three being one is impossible, that how this has happened to Jesus then? No, debate TV one is not mine. There's nothing it's called debate TV one. It's debate TV. Don't call debate TV one. Maybe it's a Muslim. Don't chat with somebody in debate one. Maybe he's a, you know, obviously somebody trying to call, uh, clone me. Debate TV, not debate. There's no one, there's no two, there's no four. What happened to this hero who said I am not in his level? Obviously, I'm not in your level. I can tell. So the in the same verse, by the way, speaking, don't say Trinity. Don't say Trinity. Don't do you see it? I mean, how silly and stupid the one who made the Quran. He is saying, don't say Trinity. By the way, we don't believe in this Trinity here. This is this is wrong Trinity. But the Quran itself come in with an idea that you can be one, yet you are three. The Quran is saying that, not me. Don't say Trinity. Don't make a tone. Okay, I will not make tone. I will make falafel. <laughs> tone, tona, tona. La 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 la. Anyway, guys, I think we we have enough for today. And actually, I feel a little bit hungry, especially after I showed you this picture. You mean, look at this. Forget about Allah, man. We are we are done from the garbage of Allah and His shish kebab falafel hummus, which is stupid. This is the real this is the real thing. This is the real hummus uh, shalashil falafel malafel. 
Oh man. <coughs> okay, what I have in the fridge? I have eggs. And actually, no, I bought, I bought, uh, you know, those, uh, but they are frozen. Pfft, I can't eat them. Yeah. Eh, eggs is okay. It's okay. God is good. What is the name of the book? What book? Have a nice dinner. Will somebody make a dinner for me so I can eat? I feel really hungry. You know, what, uh, what are you going to do? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when you come for you, bad boys, bad boys? So listen, Ibrad uh, and uh, Tithar, uh, Prince, we get him butted, and he's a liar. Okay, and <laughs> how you did that? <laughs> Unbelievable. I, 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 I was thinking to 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 quit coming online because Muslims they keep destroying me every day. Actually, every second. Or egg or haram, according to Quran, no. <laughs> but egg is mentioned by Muhammad that it's a reason to cut your hand. And look at this man. This man, he stole women from their families, yet if you steal an egg from a Muslim, he will cut your hand. I mean, look, look how decent this thief, Muhammad. Very decent. He just killed General Qasim Soleimani. Well, I don't know if this has happened or not. Let us see news. News. Well, you know those people. You know they think just you know you know look look at this uh, look at this fake uh, 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 culture and religion. Uh, made this game change. Wow, that's true. Yeah. Oh. Good for you, Trump. He's a terrorist. Yeah, he's a head of a terrorist. Soleimani is a good is a is a head of terrorist. So, yeah, this man uh, uh, Trump, he uh, like he he is the man. He taught them how to behave. They thought they are big, you know, because one day they capture a few soldiers and from USA, and they uh, you know they humiliate them. And uh, Obama, he did nothing about it. And then after Trump became a president. Uh, they shut down an airplane which is you know a drone and Trump he was patient he did not do anything but now Trump is teaching them and putting them in their size good for you Trump this is why I vote for him you know yeah this is a big terrorist and you know look few months ago they were kissing the shoes of the USA army to defend Baghdad almost ISIS took over Baghdad almost they arrived at the borders of Baghdad. Not only they took the Mosul, if not the USA army in Iraq, they asked USA, please send your troops. Because Obama, he was pulling out the troop, right? They are the one who kissed the shoes of Trump. Send your troops. He will take Baghdad. So he sent the troops to save them. And now they don't have ISIS and now they want to kill the American. Do you see the hypocrisy? See, so they, you know, when they need you, they are like rabbits. But now we are done. You did for us what we need. Go. We will kill you. Death to America. Death to Israel. That's what they say. If you go back a little bit and search about ISIS. You see, this is 2014. ISIS was going all the way to Baghdad. They took, actually, they took most of Iraq. <laughs> most of Iraq is gone. And if not Trump, Iraq is ISIS today. They took almost maybe more than 60% of Iraq. Let me, let me search for uh, uh, ISIS map, how it became. And they were killing Shia, and those are Shia. <clears throat> okay look let me share with you
This is the map. How far ISIS they went. Look at this. They took the whole country. Literally, they took the whole country. And then they start saying, Trump, please come help us, Trump, please. <laughs> you know. And then the, uh, Trump, he sent his army and he sent his airplanes and they start hitting ISIS har harshly. Now, ISIS are gone almost. So now it's time to go back to say that to America. America before was not that big shaitan. Well, you know, when you ask America to come to defend you from ISIS, it, it was not a big shaitan. Today it's a big shaitan. This is what happened when you help, you know, this kind of people. You feed them and then they spit in your food, they spit in your face. And then ISIS, they started growing more and more. And they took most of Syria. Look at this map. Scary. Iraq almost gone. Syria almost gone. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy is a big terrorist. Yeah, you know, Hezbollah, you know. Uh, you see, those pe people, they keep saying death to America. They think America cannot teach them how to behave. Death to America, death to Israel. They don't know that America can do what they can do. And now, let us see what they can do with America. What they can do. Yesterday, the head of the Iranian, uh, uh, what is called, a national uh, revolution guard, whatever, Islamic guard. We will, you know, America, America, know our size. Okay, let us see what you will do now. Just sit and watch. We will die laughing. Here we go. Trump, he hunted your biggest terrorist. What you can do about it? If Iran really is powerful as they claim, they will never hesitate to launch a war against USA. Do they dare? <laughs> let us hope and uh, see what will happen. No, no, my friend, this is not fake map. What fake map? ISIS, they took most of Syria. They took... Uh, uh, yeah, maybe, like, okay, may, maybe the map is not uh, too much accurate. Uh, but in reality, ISIS, they were controlling many, many areas in Iraq, and they were growing so fast. Actually, uh, uh, the map of ISIS became bigger than what is left for Iraq and Syria together out of their hand right <clears throat> well I believe the the Shah I don't think the Shah was a good guy I think you see those kings are spoiled and they are you know routing people they are uh, you know they live they live a life far away from the people and this is why the revolution happened so the Muslim, they took advantage of how bad he is, not how good he is. You see, when people, they go in the street by hundreds of thousands, not because the king is good. Obviously, he's not. Right? But but doesn't mean, but but, but Iranian, they never, they never knew that the one who will take over is way worse than the previous king. I answered you, my friend. So the king was bad. But he is not even 1% of how ugly this regime on Iran. And I'm glad that Trump is showing them who he is and what he can do. And let us see what they can do. Let us see if they are ready to attack America. We have tons of troops in the, in the Middle East and they can hit it if they want. But they were there because they knew the action, what would happen. So actually for me, I see that this is very good news. Trump, he did the, the right thing. And... Uh, and those people they became you know so proud of themselves they think because the same as Erdogan Erdogan he think he's so powerful too you see such kind of people they will not know their size until you spank them those terrorists they hold the clashing cough in their hand they think they can control the world that's it he have a you know AK-47 that's it uh, they 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 uh, uh, you know, like they are building an airplane, which is all the manufacturer is coming from the black market, from Korea, from China, even from USA. 
and yet they claim they make a so they think they are big by propaganda it's time for somebody like trump to put them in their place and i'm glad he did i don't want war to happen by the way because war is is at the end of the day people will die which side doesn't matter and that's not good but evil ones somebody have to stop them and if nobody stop them then they will over they will take over everybody so i want to say i'm proud of trump that he stood against their evil and put in iran in their space and now everybody will know if the iranian did not do something as retaliation for this that means they are potatoes and they are coward and they knew they, that he can do nothing if they did that will be the end of the iranian regime and it's time for them to go iran iran you know iran need to be freed need to be freed we don't hate the iranian we should not hate them iranian people by the way they are wonderful people i met many iranian and a lot of them they are coming to christ as never before actually i don't know if you saw the iranian who they are striking in the street they were they were taking down the signs which says death to america america is the big satan did you see it so iranian they are against islam and they are against the islamic revolution garbage so we don't want anyone to harm the iranian we want somebody to stop the terrorist and get them put them in their place right so we pray for the iranian people to be safe if something happened and we pray that uh, trump will be able to get rid of this regime as soon as possible it's time for them to go somebody have to do something so uh, i want to say thank you guys for being here why does usa support saudi this is where the ice is coming from well my friend the usa support what is benefited benefit them and the saudi they are let's say they are they are doing exactly what you say they want but you cannot deny that isis is coming from islam not necessarily saudi arabia muhammad is coming from saudi arabia and all the ideology is coming from saudi arabia so it's very normal that a lot of saudi involved in isis but remember the caliphate is from iraq the assistant of the caliphate is from Chechenia. <laughs> the other assistant is from Morocco. You know? Uh, what would be the first target? There is a soft, there is a target, they are called soft target, which is like uh, uh, embassies or, uh, uh, you know, uh, an American base which have a small number of soldiers, you know. But still, the USA. I believe they will not get involved that heavy unless they are ready already for such an action and reaction so i believe strongly if if uh, if iran will do something wrong trump will hit them very bad and they are no match and all of us we knew you know i mean you have to be literally stupid to go in war with usa it doesn't matter how big you are literally you know so i, I believe what what the iranian will do now ISIS is supported by Saudi US money. My friend, uh, Gibran, let me tell you something. If if the Assad, I know you support the Assad, but let me tell you, you have to be honest. The stupid Assad is the one who was asking the Mujahideen to go and fight in Iraq against the American army. And you are, I think, from Syria, and you know that, right? So the stupid Assad is the one who established ISIS. He sent them to Iraq and he trained them there and those are Syrian and then they came back to him he's a donkey literally literally he sent he thought by sending them there they would die there and he would finish he, he would get rid of them but he was a stupid so those who he sent them there to fight the American the American they would not forget that 3,000 American soldiers they die because of what he did so why they will not spank him and demolish him? You tell me. So they will support anyone will demolish him. Because he did the same to them before. He is the one who started. So this guy, the Assad, is a stupid officially. His father was a smart. This guy is donkey. When the war in Iraq started, he started, he, you know, his, his intelligence, they start asking 
the, uh, the the Muslim Sunni Allahu Akbar jihad we knew that in Syria that nothing will happen without permission of this regime it's intelligent regime secret service regime no mosque will dare to, to, to call for jihad they start calling for jihad publicly what Russian at that time there's no Russian my friend what are you talking about don't be ignorant what Russian This is this, this is the when when the American invasion to Iraq, the, the stupid Assad is the one who sent mujahideen from Syria. So after they've been trained with a Zarqawi and this garbage, they came back to him and they destroyed his country. So he is the idiot to blame, not USA. You make an enmity with USA, and then you you asking why USA support your enemy? They will support your enemy. Why not? Good for them. He is not still standing, my friend. He's a toy. If not the Russian, he will be gone from long time. Aren't you watching the news? This guy is almost gone. This guy literally gone. What he's standing? Who is the one is making him standing? <laughs> Come on, buddy. If not the Russian, this guy he will be shish kebab from long time ago. I feel sorry for for you know. Don't be naive. It was. It was the Russian who saved his, his bomb. Al-Qaeda and ISIS almost took all, all of Syria. They are going toward Damascus. They were. Then the Russian came and everything turned upside down. And this is what happened. The Russian is the one who saved him. This is the truth. Putin. Yes, Putin. You know. And actually, I'm glad that Putin, he did. You know, for me, this guy, the Assad, is a donkey, yes, but he is way better than those uh, filthy Mujahideen. You know what I mean? And by his stupid mistakes, he became a toy in the hand of Iran because he became so weak. So now he literally he's a toy. He's a toy in the hand of Iran and Russia. You know, the Iranian, they, he borrowed a lot of money from them and they sent hundreds of thousands of troops. And the real one is protecting him for real is Russian. Uh, no, you are you are mistaken. The one who defeated ISIS is both. The Russian defeated ISIS in in uh, in Syria, and the one who defeated ISIS in Iraq is USA. Gibran, I mean, I know you are from Syria and you support the Assad, but my friend, you know, I don't know how much you have respect for me. I will not lie to you, but it's, you know, it's, you don't have to believe me. But I say to you, and you know it, that this guy Assad is a stupid donkey. It was his fault. Absolutely his fault. During his time, the hijab spread all over. The Muslim Brotherhood, they are taken over. He started giving jobs to everybody. You know, I have you know, I have people who they already came from there and they, they told me everything in details. And they are honest people. And even they used to support him. You know, he is a stupid. He put himself in such a place. So I'm glad that the Iranian they will put the, you know somebody decide to put them in their place, and I'm sure Israel now is so happy for that because those you know I mean look at this country you wake up in the morning you say death to America death to Israel I mean what is that what kind of country this country is what kind of culture they are trying to 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 you know and because Obama was very weak. You know, they, those those uh, those Iran, excuse me, Iranian regime. They felt like they are like a turkey, you know, like he, he have a feather and he became big, and nobody stopped him. They attacked Saudi Arabia, nobody stopped them. They went all to Syria and nobody stopped them. And you know, they, they this is what happened when you have a weak president. It's like you have a dog, you have a dog or rabies. And he's biting everybody, and nobody, everybody is scared of the dog. But will Trump? He is not scared. And now let us see what they will do. If they, you know, just yesterday, if we go and search in the news, I saw in Arabic in the news in Arabic. I don't read really too much news in English. Uh, the head of the Islamic Revolution saying America knew our size. America knew if they attack us, we will destroy them. Okay, here we go. Let us see what they will do. Let me see if I can find you what he said just yesterday.
This is just yesterday. I'm trying to find what he said yesterday. Anyway, it's like you can you can find it yourself. It's not a big deal. But you know, you are a hero as long as you are making a speech. But when the war happened, we knew what would happen. So if they will go in war with the USA, that will be the end of the, re the regime in Iran. And actually, uh, I believe that this is, will be uh, for the benefit of the Iranian. This regime need to go. If you became a Christian, they cut your head. They hang you in the in the pole in the street. If you leave Islam, they cut your head. If you speak against the government, they cut your head. And yet they claim they are fighting ISIS. They are they are worse than ISIS. This is the truth. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. You don't have to agree with me. I say my opinion, and my opinion is my opinion. You know, you don't have to agree with me. You can do uh, do uh, research and study. Uh, why ISIS attack did not attack Israel? You know, uh, let me tell you why they did not attack Israel. First of all, ISIS is an organization, or let us say, an idea, ideology, established on that Muslims who they are infidels are more enemy than those who they are the Jews. So, if you are a Jew, if there is two enemies, one of them is a Muslim, and one of them is a Jew. The Muslim who read Muslim, he have a duty to fight the Muslim first because that is a betrayal. Secondly, ISIS, they knew that they are no match to attack Israel. If the ISIS start attacking Israel, Israeli will whip them out of the ground immediately and they can do it. Especially there is no rules. There is no, I mean, the, the Syria is going in war. So because they knew their size, they did not attack Israel. And I know you will say that Israel is supporting ISIS. Let us say for the sake of argument, this is a true. Good for them. And I will tell you why. Assad and Hezbollah, they want to kill everybody Israeli who support, uh, or let's say everyone who considers himself an Israeli. So the, why they will not support your enemy? Have you ever heard of something it's called the enemy of my, the, 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 the friend, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? <laughs> so why they will not do that? So what happened is in Syria because of the stupid Assad was a wonderful news to Israel. Good for them. So you know why you want to blame Israeli? Those those all the neighbors they wish the death to Israel every day, and now you are blaming them for supporting your enemies. As long as they are not coming to me, I will support them. This is the idea. They are smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? If this is true, if this is true, well, you you know you support their enemy. Do you want to kill them? Hezbollah want to kill Israel. So why why Israel will not be happy that ISIS attacking Hezbollah? Let them finish each other. Both are terrorists. This is the idea. So when you are talking about Israel, this is this is how you think. Ha! Ah, Israel are evil people. Why is it, why ISIS did not attack them? Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh, you know, okay. Well, first they, they knew they cannot attack them. Do they dare? Iran is a huge country, and Israel is hitting Hezbollah almost every week in Syria, and they don't dare to attack Israel. So, how does ISIS will attack Israel? They are no match. They knew their size. It's a smart move from ISIS not to attack Israel because they knew they cannot do it. All right? Uh, anyway, guys, I think we are done for today and I hope we have a good time together. And uh, again, this Spartax is dirty and uh, full of garbage. Uh, however, for me, Trump, he have my full, my, my full support in case a war started with Iran because this country is out of control and they are funding all terrorism including Muslim Brotherhood uh, Muslim Brotherhood all organization in the world except two organ organization they are not funded by them but all terrorist groups in the world are funded by Iran and they are spreading their their terrorism everywhere Venezuela 
They have camps. Imagine in Venezuela. They have camps of training in 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 uh, 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 in South America. They have in the middle of Africa. So they are expanding. They control Yemen. I mean, they are became an octopus because nobody is stopping them. It's time for somebody to put them in their place. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, may the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, I hope tomorrow, I say Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And take care. Bye-bye.